everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can apply a bond charge to a Guardian's account. To be able to enter in bond payments, you need to ensure the bonds has been enabled in your settings. You can do this by clicking on your service menu and under configuration, click on settings. Click on the finance tab and under the finance configuration, you will see bonds. To apply the bond charge, you can go to a Guardian's details page and then click on the payments tab. You will then need to click on the payment debit tab. On the right hand side, under the payment type, you will select the system type other. In the payment reason, you will select the system type bond charge. If you would like the bond charge to be entered on today's date, you can leave the date as it is. Feel free to update the date accordingly. On the left hand side where the enrolment is, you need to enter in the amount you would like for the bond charge. For example, $100. Please note, and this is very important, Whatever enrolment the bond charge has been applied to, you need to ensure the bond payment, bond refunds are all entered in against the same enrolment. So this is only takes effect if the guardian has multiple children with multiple enrolments. The bond payment and bond charges are per enrolment, not per family. So if you would like to enter in a charge for two enrolments, you would need to enter in the value on each enrolment. Once you've completed those steps, you can click make debit payment and click yes to confirm. Switching over to the statement tab, you will now see the bond charge for the total amount. Just going to the customer account statement and viewing the guardian's statement, scrolling down to the bottom, you will see the bond summary, which sits outside the normal gap fee payments. And you will then see the charge. For further information on how to apply bond charges, please do not hesitate to reach out to the Kidsoft customer success team. You may also like to look at our additional video tutorials in our YouTube channel for more tips on Kidsoft. Thank you.